Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to build a visual library. One of the articles that I'm prioritizing in my learning currently is building a visual library uh, because I want to be able to draw on the fly. And what that means is that I'm going to have to like gather a bunch of references of objects that I think I'm going to want to be able to draw rapidly. And I'm going to study them and draw them, practice with them, and make sure that they are, um, you know, that I memorize them well enough to be able to also draw them on the fly without reference. It's basically some upfront investment to be able to make the drawing process faster and more efficient later on. So I can focus on really, um, you know, building my art instead of struggling with, you know, how to construct all the objects that I want to draw and reducing the time spent, you know, just frustrated <laughs> trying to find good references. So right now I want to be able to, you know, draw public spaces very well. And, you know, when there's public spaces, there's also public transport, which is why I'm choosing to kind of like start simple and go with a bus. So another reason why I chose buses is also because they're quite a, kind of simple, like the, the shape can be broken down very easily. It's basically just one big rectangular volume. But yeah, so what you want to do when you're kind of like studying from reference is you want to make sure that you know how to construct the item, what kind of the like key identifying features of the objects are, and you want to be able to see what the commonalities are between different versions of the object. Because like, you know, the buses in one city might look different from the buses in another city, and it's you know good to know what might be kind of like identifying and um, what what is, you know, something that kind of changes based on whatever bus you're ch choosing. But yeah, you should really just choose um, the objects that you want to put in your visual mental library um, based on what you think you're going to be drawing a lot. Let's say, for example, you want to draw people in rooms, right? Then you're going to want to focus on, hey, what, what, what do interiors look like? What kind of interior design is happening here? What kind of objects are common? Um, how are they like oriented in space in relation to each other? Or maybe if you want to draw like a bunch of fantasy nature scenes, you're going to focus more on, on doing things like trees and, you know, mountains, rocks, rivers, stuff like that. So it really depends on what your art goals are or like what you kind of like drawing. If you're super into like space scenes or something, you, you want to focus on portraying things like space suits, spacecrafts, stuff like that. Thank you. 
So this is me moving on to my second bus. And this time I'm focusing a lot more on kind of like the details of the bus. Rather than just kind of generally the overall shape. So as you can see, I'm looking at things like, oh, you know, the sign that indicates where, where the bus is going and uh, what line number it is. I'm really focusing on like on detailing here. So yeah, the most important thing is kind of putting the characteristics and like the shapes and volumes into your long-term memory. But it's also a like, great opportunity to like really practice drawing from observation and doing stuff like, you know, line weight, volume, shading. I don't focus too much on things like shading here though, because um, for me right now, the priority is getting like really the characteristics solid. So the main reason why I'm so focused right now on building my visual library is because I'm going to be um, working at a job where they kind of require that you are able to draw on the fly quickly and accurately. So that's why I gave myself the challenge to list a whole bunch of items that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be drawing. And um, I gave myself a deadline, hey, by this date, I'm going to have to be able to at least be able to draw like one or two versions of these objects. So a very easy thing you, you can do is maybe like build a Pinterest board or something similar where you just pin a whole bunch of objects that you would be like to be able to draw. That way you have a list that you can easily like come back to and next time when you don't know what to draw, you can just pick anything from that list.
So what I'm doing right now is writing down all the characteristics I've noticed um, that these buses and objects and stuff like that have. So, for example, you know, you have two entrances typically from which uh, people can enter and exit. You have large windows, maybe something of a bumper at the front. Got wheels, obviously. <laughs> Got the mirrors on the sides. You often have these little stripes on the side as well. I guess, you know, decoration. Which you do see them pretty often, which is why I added them here. But yeah, but what you really want to do is just make, like create an archetype for the objects that you're trying to draw. So here I'm also like labeling them so it's easier to remember next time. Got the mirrors, the big window at the front. Got the wheels. Got the entrance and exit. Got the large windows on the sides. Got the sign that indicates where the bus is going. And then, once you've done that, it's time to just draw from imagination to see if you're able to actually, like, you know, draw it without reference, draw any. Got headlights. We've also got headlights. So now you've got to draw from imagination. Um, so this is me drawing just like a bus without any kind of uh, reference. So this is great because it's like I test myself to see if I'm able to draw what I just learned and maybe, you know, if, if it doesn't work out, that's when I know that I need to go back in and maybe study a few more references before I um, move on. So yeah, I also drew like the other side of the bus. So not the side that has like the entrance and the exit, but the one that doesn't have that. Not really sure why actually, but it's fine because that also, you know, gives me a little reminder that, you know, that the doors are not on both sides. But yeah, so this is a little practice session. Now I'm able to draw buses from imagination. Very good, very good. Now I only got like, what, a hundred more items to go? <laughs> yeah, my list is pretty big. But I think this is a pretty good and convincing bus, at least um, for what my purposes are. This is a hundred percent fine, okie dokie. 
windshield wipers. Fantastic. But yeah, this is where I decided that, hey, okay, this looks good. I'm satisfied. I'm gonna move on. But yeah, stay tuned for like my next video. I'll probably do a few more of these where I um, look at a few items, break them down, try to memorize them, study them. And before you know it, hopefully I'll be able to draw all the scenes that my brain can put forth. My imagination will be unstoppable, essentially. That's the goal. Okay, see you guys next time. Stay tuned.